you've been in a ton of movies. It's really cool yeah. to have you here. But Oscar week must be a huge rush for you. Huge rush for all the actors. Yeah. And for me, yeah, it's, it's one of the uh, excitement, you know, things that build up all year long, you know, and then they send us movies. Well, because I'm one of the Academy uh, member voting members, so we get to see all the movies before. That's him. so awesome. So we're so excited. Let me ask you, what happens to the old movies? Do you send them to your family so they get to watch them? I or can't you... tell. Oh, okay. They it's one of those that will kick you out. Destroy them. Oh, so what she does is destroys them. All of them. Destroys Break them. them in half. <laughs> so they don't end up on the internet. Right. I gotcha. <laughs> That's awesome. I was talking to somebody about this yesterday. They said, well, why do you like to go to the giftings? I said, you know what, number one, I love the gifts. Yeah, number wearing? two, I love getting my makeup done and the hair done. And then you socialize with all these different celebrities that you really don't see all year long. Yeah. And then, working. Yeah, and, yeah. If, and it's a different vibe when you're at a, at a gifting suite because if you're at an event, they're sort of with their own little clique and everybody's doing their own little thing and drinking and doing stuff. Here, you're you're going to each table and, ta and getting the spiel about the product. And so, you know, all of us celebrities were like, okay, all right, can I try it? You know, and we sort of feel the same way, yeah. you know, instead of like, yeah, let's have another drink. Or, you know, it's it's a really cool vibe at the, at the giftings. Yeah. It's real personal, you know, you get to, you're standing right next to all the people that you've yeah. worked with or that you want to work with, and you get to talk and schmooze with them in a different daytime atmosphere. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not the nighttime. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we don't want her to have to try my product. Yeah. 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 Let, me you, let me tell you about this one. He, he's the founder of Choices Recovery, which in this town, you probably know a lot of people that have been down that road. Can oh, yeah. you speak to that just a little bit? Is it, uh, is it prevalent? Is it? Um, well, I uh, worked with Tom Sizemore. Okay. And, and that's he, it. He, and him and I started a movie together called Double Duty, which is on Showtime right now. And um, he had a lot to say about recovery, and it's. It did him a lot of good. Yeah. It did him a lot of good, and it's really important for for not just celebrities, but anybody in general right. to go through recovery. Yep. Tell very, me about very yours. Well, very well said. <laughs> uh, my recovery started in 1998. Yeah. Yeah, and it's lasted since then. Cool. And when I went back to the regular life, yeah. let, let's say I was an actor, it didn't fulfill me. Right. But I wasn't an actor, I was in the car business. <laughs> and I decided to open up a recovery center. And I opened one, and of course, you, you know, with society now, yeah. it's so more prevalent than it used to be. Exactly. You know, 20 years ago in the 90s, we were talking about it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Now society has became more aware. Yes. And knows we need to change it. Yeah, and um, I, I, sad to say my brother died from heroin four years ago at no. 50 years old at 50 years so old. so I'm yeah, yeah. He, right and so it, 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 it not only life. it really did it, it, and it not only gets you mad you're just kind of disgusted yeah. you know and and disappointed and I can't even tell you all the things that the emotions the, it brings out and of all you. the times you tried tried so hard, hard. Finally, you had to shut the door right. because you couldn't try anymore, and that's the exactly. problem. And that's why we need what I do. Absolutely. That's why we need social media yeah. and everybody to, to 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 Twitter about it and Facebook it and talk about it. Right. Because if we get awareness built up at 50 years old, yeah. maybe we can grab you by the throat and say, "Come on." Exactly. <laughs> Let's exactly. go to treatment. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. 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 Well, yes. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story. I mean, yeah. it's very personal. Very. And, personal. You know. Have a great time here. I'm sure you're going Thank to. You, so you have the right attitude yeah. about this. That's for certain. <laughs> Yay. <laughs>